gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this science celebration in the Mainz Palace. To me, it was not a surprise that uh, Paul Critzen favored a celebration with a scientific focus. Some months ago, when I asked him what he could imagine for his 80th birthday, he expressed the wish for a scientific event that addresses the Earth's environment, not only looking back, but also with a forward view. The term Anthropocene has come to the forefront in recent years and it has marked a paradigm shift. If mankind is of prime importance to our world, to our global, to our Earth system, then the question of influence of main, mankind is a scientific one, it's also an ethical one. The role of scientists is to provide evidence, to provide options, to provide a range of alternatives. But the ultimate decisions then have to be made in the political arena, among politicians, in an interplay with society at large. Ihr Aufsatz über die Geologie der Menschheit ist ein Aufsatz über die falsche Einrichtung der Welt, der, wenn wir sie nicht ändern, zum Gau der Moderne werden kann. Und insofern ist das, was wir diskutieren über Klimawandel, Ressourcenkriege, die Zerstörung der Biodiversität, nicht nur eine bestimmte Form des Anthropozäns, sondern es ist vor allem auch eine Herausforderung an unsere Kultur. Verleihungsurkunde als Zeichen der Würdigung hervorragender Verdienste um das Land Rheinland-Pfalz und seine Bürgerinnen und Bürger verleihe ich Herrn Prof. Dr. Paul Krutzen Mainz den Verdienstorden des Landes Rheinland-Pfalz. Mainz, den 2. Dezember 2013, die Ministerpräsidentin Malu Traja. Ganz herzlichen Glückwunsch seitens der Ministerpräsidentin, aber auch von mir persönlich. It stimulates me to continue, um, even beyond 80 years, there's still life, and uh, uh, I, I will do my best, and I hope many will follow me. Thank you very much. But the additional issue here that is not uh, spelled out is that it's not only the chemistry, but Paul had also addressed the issue, where do these nitrogen oxides come from? Nitrous oxide and so on. So that allowed me, I remember very well, doing calculations to see, well, what is the amount? What's the source strength for these compounds? I think it's, it's a wonderful example of how Paul's insight about nitric acid trihydrate particles and about that sort of chemistry was really key to understanding the Antarctic, but there's still significant questions at work about exactly how the solid PSCs and exactly the role of denitrification between the two hemispheres leads to such a, a remarkably different uh, uh, atmosphere in the Arctic compared to the Antarctic. <music> These are just two examples of where we don't have to wait for 160 nations to sign on a piece of paper. We can start climate mitigation 
individually at small scales. I'm not claiming that's going to solve the problem. At least we are not sitting in one place, not doing much. First time, I would like to emphasize that this is the Anthrop Anthropocene, the impact of human activities on its surroundings. I have grandchildren, and I would like these grandchildren to live in an environment which is far better than it is at the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you.